What's going on everybody? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another awesome video. Today we are going to be embroidering this Mickey Mouse onto this regular Gildan 100% cotton shirt. The goal is to try to get this image to look exactly like this when we embroider it onto the shirt. We want to minimize the stretch, we want to hoop it prop pop properly and we want to use the right stabilizer which is a cutaway stabilizer guys. This design right now is available on alanaway.com for purchase. Head on over to alanaway.com and you can do this video with us. The goal right now is to um, start implementing these designs right and seeing different uses that we can do with them besides just stitching out a patch and having a patch. You know you want to see how practical is this stuff? What can I do with it? How can I apply it? How do I apply it? So we're going to be applying it onto a t-shirt, all right? Things that you're going to need. Uh, we got some Fast Tac adhesive spray. Now, you don't need this specific one. There's tons of adhesive spray available on Amazon. I'll link to some down in the description below if you'd like. And um, what else are you going to need? You're going to need some material, just regular cloth. No give because we're going to be using a stabilizer. Um, I got my extra hoop here. These are the color threads that I'm going to be using in today's video. And um, some embroidery shears, your brother SE600 or P800. If you don't have your machine yet, use my Amazon link down in the description below to purchase your machine today so you can stitch along with this video along with all the other extensive videos that I make, guys. So um, let's dive into this video and let's start preparing this garment to be embroidered on. All right, let's do it. Boom. Wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 uh, productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. So we've made a little bit of space for us on our table. You gotta be real careful with this adhesive spray too, guys, because this stuff um, is very, very sticky and it'll get all over the place. So what you gotta figure out right now is where you want to place your design. Normally it goes like right below the uh on the chest area and that would be about right here um you can take uh this crease right here next to the neckline right next to the neckline down about four fingers so about right here is where we want to put our design and right now it's on the right side as i'm looking at the shirt and it's going to be on the left side when i flip it inside out all right so we want it on this side right here so i'm gonna Pinch that side right there so I know this little trick. Flip my shirt inside out, all right? And where I have it pinched, like I said, is the opposite side now, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it all the way inside out. And now we're going to put on our spray adhesive and this is the part where we stabilize our shirt because if we just use tearaway stabilizer, it's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be stable enough. And then we're going to tear it away and we're going to risk messing up our image. So we know our image goes, like I said, right here, down, about four fingers down from the collar. So it's about right here. All right. So that's where we're going to spray on our adhesive spray and our stabilizer. All right. This is our stabilizer right here. So I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. Spray on some of this adhesive spray, all right? That's enough. Lay this down, boom, right in that area, right there. All right, now we have our stabilizer on our shirt. Our shirt is 100% stabilized. Guys, if it's your first time here, I forgot to mention, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to visit the merch store, alanaway.com. Buy yourself some channel merch, help support the channel. And follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash productions. Also follow my second channel, youtube.com backslash alanwade, guys. Thank you so much. All right, so now we have this turned inside out. We have our stabilizer attached. We're gonna flip it back right side in, if that's how you say it. All right, flip it back around. And the little trick that I like to do to hoop my my shirts, All right? I like to go ahead and roll it up right here. Roll it up. 
so I can access the part where the fabric is, right? All right, so now, like I said, um, what you want to pay attention to is you want to pay attention to where the hoop lies and in, rel in relations to where the fabric is going to be embroidering on. Okay, so that's good. All right, so the way you hoop is you lay it down and then boom, then you put that on top of that. Now what you want to do, what you want to avoid is you want to avoid stretching the shirt. And that's another reason why we put the stabilizer on. And we want to make sure we hoop it kind of like straight. All right. Not kind of straight, very straight. All right. So, and the image is going to be like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our hoop underneath inside the shirt right here. All right. And we're just placing it and making sure the middle is right here. We're just eyeballing it, right? And the thing we wanna make sure is that the center of this, of this hoop right here, which we can't see, but we can feel where it is, is four fingers down and in the center of here, all right? So I'm gonna push it over just a little bit and I'm just kinda of like blindly measuring, all right? And this is how I do it. If you got a better way to do it, you can do it your way, but this is how I do it, all right? Place that on top to kind of like check out where it is, make sure it's straight. And once again, I'm just eyeballing it, you know, and then we just hoop it. And if, the best part about when you hoop it is if it's not straight, then you could just unhoop it and like put it down. And right now, this is telling me that I don't have my hoop loose enough. So I'm just gonna unscrew it a little bit and run that again, do that again. All right, so just straightening this out the best I can because I don't want to stretch this fabric at all. All right, see my stabilizer's good. Four fingers down, it's gonna be the center of the hoop. Four fingers down from the neck, move this up a little bit. All right, that's good. Nice and straight, bring this side down a little bit. All right, and, and hoop it. Jeez, why is this thing having problems hooping? Why is it not just sna snapping in? All right, give me a second, guys. Let me uh, really loosen up this hoop, all right? Yeah, it's not loose enough. That was my problem. I guess when I was trying to, I didn't loosen it up. I actually tightened it up, all right, so. Uh, you want to have some slack in there, all right? And already I created hoop lines, which you don't want to do, but hey, it is what it is. No way to really avoid them. But when you wash it and, and wet it once, um, the hoop lines will go away. So it's not a big deal. All right. It's just better to avoid them. Boom, boom, boom. Center over a little bit. So, boom, that's good. I like the way that looks, all right. Straight relative to the shirt and neckline. All right, hoop it in. There we go, we're hooped, nice and straight, nothing stretched, and it's nice and smooth right here on the surface. I'm gonna reach in, and I'm going to tighten up this hoop. You can see the little, the little thing in here. I'm just gonna tighten it up, tighten it up. All right, now the more you tighten it, it is gonna cause those little ashy marks, but don't worry about that for right now. We just wanna get it embroidered onto the shirt good. So here you go. Um, we're not doing any beat drum test or anything like that. It's good enough because it appears straight and the needle's just gonna pierce it and go in and out and stuff like that, it's fine. All right, the hoop's on tight. And then now let's put it into the machine so we can get busy on our design, guys. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's go. You are now tuned into an A Dub production. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It'll really help the channel. And if you want to see the hits as they come, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. You will not be disappointed. Back to your show. All right, everybody, we have our SE600. Once we have our machine, we are good to go. We grab our shirt, make sure this is up so we have clearance around here. And we're paying attention to where this part is right here. So this, this part goes on here, so we just wanna hoop it. So we take our time and we slide the shirt underneath. 
This is the top part of the shirt that I'm sliding underneath and the back part of the shirt I'm kind of like holding with my hand. I'm holding it open like that. And I'm just sliding this part underneath. Try to lay the hoop down flat on the machine. The hoop is down flat on the machine and I slide the hoop underneath of the foot. And then with this part right here, I just lock it in. And now I make sure that none of the other part of the shirt is underneath of the hoop, all right? We want that totally free and clear from underneath because we don't wanna sew our shirt shut, all right? Now what we're paying attention to right now is where our neckline is. Our neckline is over here, right? And our design is facing this way. So if our neckline is this way, and our design on the screen is facing this way, that means it's gonna stitch sideways. We don't want it to stitch sideways. So we're gonna go back a little bit in the design and we're going to go to the rotate option. Let me show you guys the screen right here. Got our design all loaded up from allenaway.com. It's on the USB flash drive inserted into the machine, right? So rotate option, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Turned our machine, turned our design in the right direction. Okay, and now, can we center it? Move our design to center, press okay, and edit, embroider. We're pretty much ready to go. Now, one more feature I wanna show you guys is the feature where you can see exactly where your design is gonna stitch out. See this button right here on the SE600? When I press this button, it's gonna kinda of like trace the image and where it's gonna go. Watch this. All right, press it again right here. Now the machine is showing exactly where that design, the parameters of that design and where it's gonna stitch out. All right, so I know like the field. All right, the field area of where design is gonna stitch out. Just getting this little piece of material off. Okay, so I press okay once I'm satisfied. I know it's sideways, my neckline is, uh, sideways so I know it's going to stitch out properly all right so that's one thing you want to pay attention to because when I first got started I used to stitch, stitch stuff out sideways right so we're going to put our first thread in because we're not threaded yet so first thread we're going to put this one in and we stabilized our shirt so it should be stabilized and not have any puckering in the design fingers crossed we will see how this comes out. And if it comes out good, give me a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends. Look at this guy on YouTube embroidering stuff. Clip it a little bit. I got videos on how to properly thread your machine if you don't know how to thread your machine. And let's start embroidering, guys. A little top view so you can see what's going on. Push the button and it's gonna start. Here we go. Here we go, and we're paying attention to the machine to see how the design is stitching out. Hopefully we don't get any puckering or anything like that because, you know, we're not supposed to because we hooped it properly. You know, everything is free and clear so the machine can move and not stitch onto the back side of the machine. And so far, so good, all right? Subscribe to the channel, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think so far down below in the description section. I mean in the comment section. Um, AllenAway.com to purchase this file along with a slew of other files that I have available for you guys to purchase on the site. All at very, very inexpensive, affordable rates because I think like this activity to get into would be fun, especially while we're all Again, going under quarantine. I know we are here in Pennsylvania going under quarantine again. So um, if you have a SE600, it's a fun activity you can do with your kids. If you have a P800, same thing. Fun activity you can do with your kids. AllenAway.com, buy a bunch of files and just teach the kids how to make their own clothes. You know what I mean? How to decorate their own garments. Or you can make some original designs with digitizing software and sell some, sell some garments and make some money, right? Teach your kids how to make some money, how to become entrepreneurs, right? Um, or, you know, you can create company logos and stuff like that, and there's a bunch of different ways you can make money with this machine. You don't have to necessarily have a commercial machine. You can do little small designs like this, and I wanna show you guys that it stitches out just fine. As long as you hoop it properly and use the right stabilizer, everything should be fine. It's not gonna be perfect every single time, all the time, but 
This video right here is unrehearsed. It's the first time I'm doing it on this shirt. Obviously don't want to screw up a bunch of shirts, so I tried my best with the knowledge that I have, and so far it's coming out really nicely. So we'll see how it finishes out. I'm gonna let this design stitch out a little bit and I'll be right back. Give this video a thumbs up once again. Subscribe to the channel. A-Dub Productions. As you guys can see, the face part of the Mickey is almost all done. SE600 doing his thing as usual, looking good on the embroidery. Um, yeah, it's nothing really I can complain about, about how this is turning out so far. Next, we're gonna switch to a white color and that's a white thread and that's going to uh, stitch out the eyeballs of the Mickey. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys how to do that once your machine stops. And it is about to stop right about, right about now. It's gonna slow down and stop. All right, there you go. All right, so let's zoom on a little bit so y'all can see what's going on. <laughs> All right, now boom. Swipe to loosen the thread. Take the top thread out. Once you raise this foot up, let's pull it out. I've been pulling it out like this for a long time. You're not supposed to do it like that. You're supposed to clip the top part and then pull the thread out from the bottom part. But when you have this foot raised, it's perfectly fine. All right, boom, put the white thread in. This is how you thread your machine in here thread through here, around back, down, around, up, around, down, hold with two fingers in here through part number six, All right, let go, up through seven, put the foot down, use the automatic threader. That is how you thread the machine pretty much. But in the video I have details and like a lot of close-ups and stuff like that. So you guys can check that out. All right, so let's close you guys back in, get you guys back closed up, close up and press the button and watch the white part stitch out of the eyes. Guys, let me know what you guys think so far. So far it looks good. Um, uh, so it looks like it's gonna be good with no puckering, but I do think it's gonna pucker just a tiny, tiny bit, only because with this, these little machines like this, um, you're not gonna get them but so perfect. I think our stabilizer is gonna help a lot, um, but it's gonna be as good as possible. And it's gonna be wearable and it's gonna be usable and it's gonna be sellable, all right? That's a, that's a key thing right there. You want it to be professional, you want it to look good enough so you can know that this machine is capable of making something, making a product that you can, you know, make a little bit of extra money off of, you know, once you get your original design, okay? And I keep on emphasizing original designs because in order to duplicate and, and sell something, it must be a design that you own, all right? It must be a physical thing that you own. Now these files are digital products, they're not physical things, but look at this, what I'm noticing already is a little bit of shifting the white part is not all the way covered up, covering up the black, but that's okay, all right? Because of the thread um, and the fabric, there's a little bit of shifting in the fabric, which caused a little slight gap right here. But we're gonna see if our black outline um, gets rid of that gap. We'll see in a little while, guys, all right? So let's Thread up the machine again. We took out that one thread that we just had in. Let's put on, put in our new thread. Put in the red, the same way we did it before, but we're going a little bit faster for the sake of the video. All right, all right. Boom. Alanoid.com. Get this file right now, and. Start doing some stuff for Christmas with your kids, right? Making some Mickey Mouse shirts. All kids like Mickey. Who doesn't like Mickey? Everybody likes Mickey, right? That's right. So you're just gonna switch out the colors just like you switched out this one when it asks for the next color, all right? Real easy. Nothing difficult in this design at all. Nothing difficult in this design at all, or any of them. 
especially since I make these follow along videos. It's very, very easy to follow along, guys. Subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more content like this. All right, this part is done. And we're gonna go to the next part right here, which is gonna be the tongue of Mickey Mouse. Take that out real fast. Take the thread out real fast. You know, we go real fast once we, um, once we got the hang of it. Boom, that's out. Then we're gonna use this little peachy type of pinky, peachy color for the tongue. All right. Put that in now, like so. There we go. And we just rolling. We are rolling. Clip a little, just a little tiny bit. That's cool. We are rolling, guys. We are rolling. Mickey's coming together. Let me know what you guys think. Looking good so far to me. All right. Get the, getting the tongue part down. All right, and that's it for that. That part is down. Last part is the black part. Got Mickey's tongue in there. All right, looking good so far. Take this out. And now the part that determines everything, how good is the black gonna stitch out? Because the black has some intricate parts that have to be precise, kind of, sort of, in order to make this all work. I mean, so we'll see. We'll do some drum rolls and we'll see how it goes. Cause like I said, I've never, I haven't done this yet, especially on a shirt. So um, this is all an experiment, a test, this video right here. So whether or not it comes out good, it's getting posted because I like to keep things authentic and real with you guys and if something can't be done I want to show you that it can't be done if something can be done I want to show you that it can be done and how to do it and if it can't be done I want to show you that it can't be done and tell you why it can't be done but so far it's looking like this can be done and this will be the determining factor the last part which has a lot of the intricacies of the designs and the details that are supposed to line up and match up and everything like that so we'll see how this turns out all right be right back, stand by. What up, Dub Nation? I wanted to encourage you to hit that like button. Smash that like button. And uh, we'll get back to your regularly scheduled programming right after this. Now, if this design, if this design is gonna have any pull, right now is where it's going to occur. And this, in these intricate, fine little small stitchings of the ears and stuff like that because it pulls on the fabric, the, the, the thread pulls on the fabric. And that's why we have to have pull compensation in our design. I might not have added enough. I may have added enough. About to find out. The stabilizer that we adhere to the back of the fabric is supposed to assist in making sure that um, some of the pull is reduced. All right, so we'll see how this comes out, guys. A-Dub Productions. Got you guys a little bit of ISO upage right there and you guys can see how good the image looks so far. But once again, guys, don't get too excited because what the determining factor is, is when we take this off and we take this hoop off, does it all jumble all together? I don't think so because we hooped it very loosely and we did not stretch the fabric, but we're about to find out, right? But so far, it's looking real good. Give this video a thumbs up if you think it looks real good so far. I think it looks great. If I could give myself a thumbs up, I would. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back in this video and give myself a thumbs up in this video because I think I hope this very splendidly. And I hope that you guys, if you don't learn anything, you guys will take that hooping technique and be able to hoop stuff that's less intricate than this. Because if you can do something this intricate, then you can do something extremely less intricate like this, like a small, tiny little logo and embroider it onto a shirt perfectly using the SE600 or the PE800. You must master the art of hooping correctly and not stretching the fabric. That's the major key for this video, guys. You must master the art of hooping. And I showed you how to do it just now. I showed you what to use. If you're using a t-shirt, right? Don't use any tear away. I mean, you can. I would advise you not to use a cutaway stabilizer because it will stabilize things a lot better, right? And um, then after it's done, 
you'll see how we cut away the excess from the back of the shirt. All right, so this part right here is almost finished and I'm letting it ride out because I wanna show you guys what to do when it um, goes from one part of the design to the next. We gotta stop the machine and make a trim. All right, so boom, boom, boom. It's gonna go from the ear to the eye, well, the nose, and then I'm gonna stop it. And I'm gonna bring this foot up and then I'm going to trim it right here. Trim the ear part. I'm gonna grab this thread and I'm gonna trim as close as possible. If I can grab the thread as close as possible to where it is right there. Trim that off, lower the foot back and let it keep on going, all right? So all I did, a little trimmy trim trim. Everything else you can just let stitch out exactly how it is. Nothing else needs to be done um, but that. And the other trims you can do all the way at the end of the design. All right, so I'm just looking at this and how it overlaps and hope it overlaps properly. So far it's looking good. And um, yeah, so far we're looking good guys. Looking very promising on the design. We're about to find out, all right? So I'm gonna let the rest of it stitch out. I'm not gonna bore you guys with any more of this part right here. Even though it might not be boring, it's very interesting for me to watch it sometimes. So um, I know it's interesting for some people to watch it, especially if you don't have this machine and you're interested. It's just interesting to see the results and how things come out, all right? So uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below um, when I'm doing the Directed Garment t-shirt designs, if you guys would like to see more of the uh, intricacies. See how it's jumping right now? We don't like that, but I mean, looks okay. So we'll see how it finishes out. All right. Guys, I don't know about you, but uh, if that ain't Mickey Mouse, then, <laughs> then I don't know what it is, because that's uh, pretty darn good right there. AllenAway.com to purchase yours today. Now this is the test, guys. Let's see the verdict and how this thing came out. All right, let's raise the foot. Swipe one time. Let me lower my ISO back to where it was, reaching down on my camera right here. ISO back down. Now let's take this out. All right. Boom. Get all the shirt from underneath there. Get it all out. Push our machine away. And let's check this out, man. Let's check this out. We're going to check this out together and see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think is going to happen right now? Place your bets right now. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to be as awesome looking as it is right now when I unhoop it? Only one way to find out. But before I do that, let me trim, make the trims that we need to make. Okay, so you see right here, it's only a few trims we need to make. We need to cut right here and right here and possibly even right here. All right, so we'll do that right now. Just reach in. Uh, try to get your scissors in there, trim that, trim that, and trim that, trim that. <laughs> we can leave that for right now. Matter of fact, let's, you know what, let's try to, try to get up in there and trim that. Make sure you only grab the thread that you need to cut. Yeah! Got him looking good. All right, let's unhoop it and see what the verdict is. All right. All right, now we're just going to loosen this up right here. And guys, the reason why I put so much stabilizer on there is so that when I hoop it, I don't miss any of the corners. Better safe than sorry. So we're just loosening this up right here. Before we even look at it, we're just going to go ahead and do what we need to do, which is trim the access off. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real fast. Just bring it up to, up to the deck, the, uh, the image. Don't pull on the image, bring it up to the image. Key, do not pull on the image, bring it up to the image, all right? I mean, you can get up to it and touch it a little bit, but avoid pulling on the threads, all right? Because that's gonna create what we don't want, all right? The puckering. So now we go ahead and we start cutting our fabric. All right, get close to that image. Make sure you don't cut your shirt. All right. 
make sure you don't cut your shirt and this fabric is see-through so I can see that I'm not cutting my shirt. Cut away stabilizer, what'd you guys think? We weren't gonna cut it away, that's the purpose. This stuff is really, really simple, stupid. Cut away stabilizer, that means you cut. Tear away stabilizer, guess, the, guess what that means? Don't make it more complicated than it is, all right? Because this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. All right, now look at the back of the design. Let's clip it up a little bit. Some of those loose threads. And you guys can see that it is a good embroidery. When you start embroidering, you'll be able to see how good of an embroidery it is just by looking at the back. And you can already see the image from the back so you know the front is looking good. All right, and I don't see any puckering on the back, but the front is what we want to look at. All right, so let's see. Drum rolls, please, guys. Drum rolls, please. Drum rolls, please, guys. And look at that. What puckering? Bring that ISO back. Bring that ISO back. That thing is laying flat on that shirt, isn't it? Laying flat on that shirt. Ain't no puckering going on here. Now we do have a little bit of hoop stain, whatever you want to call it, a little bit of hoop ash going on, right? Nothing, a little bit of water. One wash through the, through the wash machine can't get rid of. Now if you're going to Disney World, instead of buying a $40 Disney shirt, <laughs> guess what you can do? And how do we match up? Right down, boom, 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 boom. Could have been better, right? Right down, boom, four fingers down. Could have been better, but you know, it's exactly where we want it to be, right on the heart, right? All right, looking good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I think it came out great. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think about the Mickey Mouse. And again, yeah, we do have a little bit of hoop stain, a little bit of hoop ash, right? But we, like I said, we can get rid of that with some water or whatever technique you guys have for getting rid of this little mark right here. Um, let me know down below. Some people um, hoop their fabric a certain way to avoid it. I think like, you can put cloth. I don't know. I don't know how to do it, but I've heard certain stuff about you can hoop it to get rid of. I'm just trying to get rid of this hoop, this little um, loop down underneath the fabric. Okay, cool. It's laying down flat. No puckering whatsoever, guys. All right? Yeah, guys, you see it. Don't try to fake and pretend like that just didn't happen. It did. You saw it from step one all the way through. No puck ring, looks good. Medium, go to my Instagram and I want four muscle emojis and one fire emoji. First person to do it underneath the picture of this where it's laying down like this, where the shirt is laying down like this. I want four muscle emojis and a fire emoji. First person to comment under the picture that looks like that um, with that four muscle emojis and the fire emoji wins this shirt. It's a size medium. You're gonna get this, this exact one right here. It's a size medium, I'm gonna mail it to you, okay? All right, that's thank you for watching it video all the way through. Only one winner, okay? <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed making it. Uh, I hope that you guys can see that this machine, it speaks for itself. It's a small little beast. It goes and goes and goes. And this is the first machine, this is the exact same one that I have from years ago when I first bought it. And it's still going, guys. It's still going. So, uh, it's still of the year, still of last year, still of the year before that, or however long brother's been selling this. Um, I say sometimes that it's underpriced, but um, hey, it is what it is. The price is what they made it, and um, it's plastic. It feels flimsy, but this thing is this thing is a monster of a machine, guys. Um, it's very well worth having, and that's why it continuously sells out, especially since I've been making these videos. Um, <clears throat> brother, reach out, please. Anyway, um, I'm working on something, so we'll see how that turns out. But um, anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Instagram.com backslash Productions. Visit the merch store. Get this file. AllenAWade.com. Allen, A-L-L-A-N-A, Wade.com to buy some embroidery files so you guys can stitch out. I will be making awesome designs like this and better 
coming soon. So um, you guys can see my progression while watching these videos and I think we progressed nicely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. Turn up that crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby?